thank you so much for clicking this video it's a wonderful thing having you in here i'm sunday or you are from octosi school of shoemaking where we teach non techy how to improve their craft in here i have a wonderful video studio in here in my apartment lagos nigeria yes it's a beautiful city of lagos where i am and i am I have a big workshop that everybody comes all over the world to learn the skills of shoemaking and craft. But in here, I've cut a place out in my small apartment, cut it out. And the reason I'm cutting this out is just to show you that you don't really need that big space that I have that you always see in my videos. That you don't need that big space to start a business of leather crafting. Here is my workshop. I want you to stay with me so I take you around and show you the setting of this workshop. You'd like to see how I set this little workshop? I call it my private studio. How I set it up. You like to see it? Then connect with me. I'm gonna see how I get that. Don't go because there's a bonus when you at the end of this video. There's always a bonus. Please stay tuned to grab that bonus. Let you know that you don't need a very big space to get to start up with shoe making you don't really need that what you just need is just a small portion and at the time you have your small portion on of your space in the in your little apartment then you can start with leather crafting so in this lesson come with me and i start showing you how i arrange this place how what things you need to put in consideration when you need to set up your studio okay right now coming in here this is as i said it's my private workshop it is my private workshop and what i do is that i come in at the middle of the night when everywhere is quiet yes for those know that knows lagos lagos used to be very very noisy so i come in in here quiet at mid of the night and do my wonderful craft not just that some of the courses on this platform this is where we get it recorded so many of it were other part of it was recorded in the main workshop yes i record many of it and the main workshop but some of it i get it recorded in here so well, that is to tell you that there's lots you can really do with your little space so coming in here i have everything i just need you don't need too much to start your shoemaking career what you just need in here is just the wonderful decks your awesome tools your wonderful tools and here as a set of your tools where you can get it arranged not just getting it arranged but arrange it that you can easily you can easily be visible at all time. The one thing I like so much, I like orderliness. Orderliness is what I like so much. So I like it to get my last in order in this way. So I get it ordered this way, arranged. And at the same time, I have to put my material in here. I have to put my leathers in there, which I use all the time the major reason i have to put it in there is that so i get to see it often and often. okay i still have some bit of this okay i still have the bit of, bit of this leather i still have some bit of this leather that is the major reason i get to put the leather there open like that and for some that are so big that i've not really cut out like this i roll up on my work decks i wrote leather like this up on my work decks i just roll it in there i have series of leather in here so what i'm going to i'm telling you is that you don't need that mighty space you see i got my tools in here i got my materials in here i got my last which is very important for shoe making i got it in here and some other big materials which are so wide i could just get it and up in there the major reason i have some material up is that some material i'm going to be using in leather crafting that the surface don't need to skews up you shouldn't be able to you shouldn't be skewing the surface also those kind of material i roll it up and i then stretch it all over the rain and so this is how i put my material this is how i put all my leather this is how i arrange my last please you can just 
take a step of just look at this it's not composed you get to do it like this you know you i have a unique space in the workshop in here so definitely you yourself gonna have your unique space in there you might not have it up to this the major reason i have to take up to this space is that i have a very big work desk because i have a very big work desk that is why i have to have this very big space half of this is enough for you to do your wonders but for me what i do is this workshop here is constructed not just for shoe but for bags so if i want to make a very big bag and if i want to have somebody else in the studio that going to work with me in this place then that's the reason that is one of the major reasons i have it very very big this is very big uh as this is what i use this is what i use for all the courses on this platform but you don't need as, as big decks as this just small decks is gonna do justice to everything gonna be doing on this platform okay you have this whenever you have your decks you have a little space at the angle of the room and then what you do is that it's not compulsory this is being stick to the wall like this I, I can get it detached at any time I want it I can get it detached every time I construct it in a way where it is detachable not just detachable I can easily rearrange it so if you are in a position where you can nail this to the wall you can't hang the rail what you can do is that and you just where you are is just very very small that you, you have to just put just a bit half of this desk in there tell you one thing again what you're gonna do is, is that all this set of glass can be swapped underneath here can be swapped underneath your work desk underneath your work desk you can swap all the lasses can put all the leather rocks in a jack jacket and pour it underneath your wall yes the major reason i have to put this in here is is that for me i'm the only one that comes in there me only me and my bae is the only one that comes in there no no one comes in there again but if you live in a apartment that little one comes around you have a little ones all around you you have some other people that comes in the little space you use as i said it's going to, it's always written and around the tools don't drop at the reach of children so all these tools are very sharp all these tools are very harmful to the kids so it's always good to keep it all around put it in a, in a sack in a container and then roll it down away from the reach of the children so this is it make sure you keep all these tools away from the reach of the children and uh, same thing with the last if you know you have a space a very small space that you can come around with this just get your last directly on your table and if you have children little ones around that could play with it that might, you might eventually not know where one leg my eventually for two then what you do is that you pack it up in a sack and then throw it under your work desk and if you're using a collapsible desk yes you can use the collapsible desk if the point at which you are using is not fixed it is not is a, is a walkway is a is not a permanent place for you you can use a collapsible table a collapsible table you just perform it you arrange it whenever you want to use it and you then collapse it back when you are done using it that is just how to set a work desk that's just how you can set a work desk for yourself it's just as easy as that as you can see right now when your work desk is there your tools arranging platform is on and your material arranging platform is on and then that is all you need to get your studio set up yes that is how i said my studio up and my studio is in here okay what is here is gonna be what is in my studio i'm gonna show you right now okay come here right now i'm gonna be starting from this point this way going on like this going on to the down so in here is 
the mention of uh, have a mention in here it's not compulsory you gotta get this place it is not compulsory you get this this is the only one i'm gonna be telling you that it is not compulsory you get what is pk are you coming in here as i said earlier that this is this apartment is in my house this studio is in my apartment so you can see and here this is part of my convenience this is power to my convenience in there so coming here right now the, these are the tools that you need to get on these are the ways things are arranged in my workshop in here what i do in here is that this is a bench grinder this bench grinder has it in here bench grinder the main part the primary functions of this is to brush The primary function of this is to brush any surface and get this surface ready for cement, for gum to stick together. So I have it here and I have it just on the stool. And who you will be seeing, not just this, you will see a very big industrial bench grinder on this platform that I will be using. But for this, my studio this is drawers i just have to bring in in here so this with this enough is enough for anything we want to do on this platform everything we're going to be doing on this platform this is going to do justice to that so this is working for it this is going to be working for everything we're going to be doing on it so a very mini one of this is good to go with a mini bench grinder like this you are good to go on this platform okay right now i as i said i've said it earlier that my workbench in on the, my workbench in here i get this fixed apart from getting this fixed this was arranged and one thing i wanted to understand by putting your workshops together is orderliness is very very good and what i do is that i pick my last one after the other Numerically, I arrange it in a way that when I'm looking for 40, I know where 40 is going to be. When I'm looking for 30, I know where 30 is going to be. When I'm looking for the male, I know it's numerically arranged in here. So whenever I need a male, I know where the male is arranged. And when I need the female, I know where I get to arrange it. This is not just all the last I use in my workshop, but this is just the last. No, we're not just going to use all this. I use some for my own personal project again. I, I'm, we're just going to use just two sets of these tools in here. You might not really understand the tools in here. You might not really understand it for now. So this is just the little tools like this I'm going to be using on here. So whenever you arrange it just numerically, it's all very, very good to arrange it that way. It's very good to arrange it and not just arranging it. And if you find yourself in this unique position of my workshop let me tell you what i get to do to put all this together what i'm going to be showing you is just is how to save cost not just to save cost but to maximally utilize that little space you think is not really working you think you just have at your in your apartment in there how to maximally utilize, utilize it that's what i want you to get in this lesson this lesson is all for the old crafter for the large crafter for the industrial crafters because we're going to be taking courses for those that want to produce the numbers those ones we're going to be laying more emphasis on that in the main workshop when you have other machines and other tools okay come here right now we have this and what I do here is after I have a long tray this way I have a long interior right now you can see I've got everything cleaned up but because of the mobility for me to easily move and rechange some things I don't let the so when the furniture man came in the house I told him not to permanently fix it so if I need to get something off I can just easily get it I need to put something in here i can easily arrange as you can see this is another part to another apartment in there to just cover it and make this my personal workshop it's 
you don't need a very subsequent space you just need a very small space to get this done okay this same thing that is in here is just the same way these two has been arranged so it's coming together can just get to use this idea if you have some similar similar space like this in your apartment you have a similar space like this in your apartment so i have it back in space and i can then start putting all my leather my last back to space right in there okay numerically arrange it numerically get it back numerically put it in order so it's going to be very easy for me to get whenever um, I need one or two in there. Okay? Okay, right now you've seen the way I've got my last pack. I want you to get on the straight again. It's not compulsory you get to do it this way. I've just done mine. There's, please, you're gonna be having different, unique spacing in our location in there, so you can arrange it based on the uniqueness of your workspace. Okay, let me give you another eight. There's some of the, uh, there's some of shoe racks that's been sold in the market. Can get to order for that if you need to arrange your last that's just a mini shoe rack it's not compulsory get a furniture man to come get this done for you just get a shoe rack at the angle of the room and then get this arranges yes just create a space for it the same way you've been creating space for your shoes just create space for this okay that is for the last and that is how i arrange my last and that is why i advise you to get your last arranged when you get your studio on and if you don't have enough space like this don't forget last is this actually the last we're going to be using on this platform they are plastics so you don't easily get damaged with it so you can all put everything in the bag of sack and then put it under your workbox or go put it in your store for your next crafting day so what we're going to be doing right now i'm going to be showing you how i get how this leather i get to arrange it this way okay the reason i to thank you so much for watching to this time hope you like what you've seen yes you've seen it how uh, this is how i eventually set the my personal studio in here this is it i've set it up and at the end you've been able to get an idea on how you can utilize that little space in your apartment that is just wasting like that yes so what you can do to it is just it just utilize it and from there wonderful crafts can come out of it please follow it step by step just what i want you to do is that just use this and apply with the uniqueness of your own space your space might not be like this just apply it with the uniqueness of your space you like what you've seen i like it to give me a thumbs up for this video just for encouragement for me to do more of this video and not just that i like you to subscribe if you're not a regular subscriber on this channel and i like you at the same time you're subscribing click the bell button why you click the bell button please the bell button is going to give you a notification on a subscribe upload on this platform. Share it, don't just let me know. And at the beginning of the video, I told you something that I have a bonus for you. The bonus is that I have a nine unit course, nine lesson course that I have for essential shoemaking, which I've put together, which is going to buttress this point at which I've just shown you in this workshop. All what all these tools are being used for, all the Material I'm going to be crafting in this place. How we're going to go about it. This course is going to give you full analysis of this. You like to see it, so go to the link. Or the, there's a link in the description in there. There's a link in there. Go there, click it, and it's going to navigate you to the website where you can take it at no cost. What I used to tell my students at the workshop is that at every point you find yourself, never stop learning. It will stop to learn, start dying. Learn and at in every single seconds of our life.